it's on YouTube for free, which means it's it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that poor cat isn't that just like the scientific term for a feline oh i did not know that because i thought like germans don't have like fila day sounds way too nice to be a german word it'd be like something like that you're really funny i'm hilarious <laughs> i want to pet the pussy cat stop very abstract. I like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. It's night in the woods. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Come here. Ooh. Come here. Oh, no. 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> Carried himself with dignity, as though he had no more than a slight oh, cold. Such dignity. What is that? Hi, pussycat. Is this the sex scene? Oh my god. Oh boy. It's if you think you're up to Dude, what the hell is this guy? Oh my god. It's a fucking monster. That's not a cat. I can see. He like has the it's top like... of the head and it fuses into his back. It looks like Taz, the Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of love how it's so different. I can't like take my eyes away from him. Uh. <laughs> Dude, he's go. <laughs> what the fuck kind of animal oh. is this thing? It's like a mongoose. It's like a mongoose with. Did you with... Say, that's not a mongoose. Or, uh, uh, no, 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 like a fucking wolf. No, 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 about. Stop it! I meant to say a, <laughs> wo a, wo no, sh um, a wolverine. It's a wolverine. <laughs> a wolverine? <laughs> All right, I guess it's closer to a wolverine, but oh. it's fucking built. It's built like beast from Beauty and the Beast. That's very apt. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mongoose. Hey, man, <laughs> it's so big and powerful and intimidating. It's, it's, it's a like, giraffe. <laughs> it's just like Ricky Tiki Tavi. What planet did I land on? Excuse yeah. me? Oh, yes. All right. All right. Uh, stuff is happening here. Is this the same house? What I was watching wasn't exactly a scene out of the Aristocats. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. What was all this dusty surgical equipment? This cat is like very well read. I was to say, this cat's a literature cat. I mean, listen to music when he sleeps. A third wall. The cat culture. You wouldn't know, though. What? How to be a cat of culture. I'm not. I'm like I'm a cat of crud. Crud? I love the one sky. Are they in England or America? I think, well, it's probably Germany. Germany is right. Are they in America? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see houses like that in America. The human race is the kindest there is. Goddamn Who right. Like <laughs> Man, one the bad thing we've ever done. Uh -huh. Wow, so modern. So modern, <laughs> right. For a pimp, your guess is as well. Wow. Look away, oh, folks! I believe the can over <laughs> content God warning. God Some sort of job as a the scientist. Karma Sutra. Parapsychologist. <laughs> I don't know. Who's this nice. guy? Mendel. Oh, he's a. What? Oh. Mendel's a um a genetic uh biologist who. I think that was the scientist who discovered like recessive gene genealogy or something like that. So, wow. Genealogy? I'm that you know that. Gene Gene uh, genetics, whatever. Genealogy? Delighted to see you, my friends. I hope oh, computer, wow. Well, this is this talking over each other. That was weird. Well, aren't you yeah, going sure. to... This no. <laughs> what did he say? I'm trying in my feeble way to use the computer. Oh, it sounds like you. I'm trying in my <laughs> feeble way to use the computer. Why are you at me like that? I gotta, I gotta meet the sponsor this weekend, you know. <laughs> my feeble way is I pull up yet another fairy pornography. <laughs> Content warning. What, 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 what we're about to see? Uh, just brace yourself for something kind of gruesome. No! Or maybe he's lying. 
What the fuck? Yeah. Oh. What? What? Whole, whole, how? Someone knew that they were talking and they got to her. All right, so it's definitely guys. I think, I think cats might be behind this. You know what? I think it might be cats. I think it was a German cat. Jeez, that was brutal. She got yeah. A, dude, she didn't even see it coming. God. Dude. <laughs> that was not fucking intentional. Oh my god. Really? I thought you were totally being no. intentional. It no. was pretty good. No, no. She never saw it coming. No. Oh, that was not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, moving on. <laughs> I don't think pros make that sound, or that's a- WHOA! Oh, yeah, another content warning for- I don't know, I think it's just kind of disturbing, but pretty cool. Let's be real. Yeah, this is like really powerful though. Did you see yeah, the animation reminded me a little bit of, uh, the wall. I was gonna- like, I was going to say the same thing. I was gonna- I don't remember- Yeah, I don't remember the- the animators, or like the lead animator who- came up with that certain scene with like the old man that's like all curled up and like pointing kind of reminded me of that yes the frame rate as well being so choppy like the strings the kind of the more scratchy visuals that was cool Whoa. very cool the skaven oh they're little wets they're not nice secret of nim <laughs> it does also Someone have Secret of Nymph vibes, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what they do. Damn. That's what they do. This is So is this from the creators of uh, Plague Dogs? I don't think so. I don't think it's the same studio. So all I know but is... But maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen Plague Dogs. I've not. I've been told that it's about animal experimentation. Yeah, it's very, very hard to watch. But I think it is worth watching at least once. This there is there is. Uh, we'll have to watch it sometime. I'd love to watch it with you sometime, but you have to just brace yourself because it is like the opening scene immediately. Like obviously no spoilers, please. But immediately it's like this is devastating to watch. Good pin comment by the way, cast appreciate you. Um, no, this is hard. Um, I mean, it's so interesting how Watership Down people like, oh, it's one of the grossest. Was graphic, you know, not kid movies out there. And it's like, no, Philadelphia has kind of already blown that out of the water. Like, by a mm -hmm. long shot. You know, oh, a rabbit got bit. Oh, no. This movie will put acid on a cat's brain. Dumb question. So I, know, I know that, like, like, animal experimentation and testing is, like, so fucking cruel. And this is one of those very gray areas where I do wonder, like... It, would science go like, well, sorry you feel that way, but the the benefits of animal testing have been felt a hundred times over for ending diseases and bringing about modern medicine. And cause I know that there's like there's like a shrine to like a rat in like or a mouse in like Russia of all places, and it has it's a really cool statue where it shows like the mouse knitting, but it's a strain of DNA. And apparently the statue was made in honor of all the mice that were killed. In the effort of, of human, you know, experimentation on rats to help, I guess, understand genetics. It just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's really cause, I mean, like, it, all I'm saying is, is it feels very easy for us right now to say, like, clear cut 100% animal testing is wrong, which it is. But I also feel like we have to acknowledge that we're on the other side of the fence for a lot of the massive breakthroughs. And it makes me wonder, like, if it's one of those things where some fucked up scientist would be like, sorry, again, you feel that way. But that's just the truth. Like, we needed this in order to, to, for you to have your comforts. I don't know. It's fucked up. Is there even a way to, like... I mean, it hmm. is fucked up. But it's fucked up. Sadly. There's, there's no... Sorry. No, you're right. It is fucked up. But I, I feel like it's just sort of one of the hard truths about our human world. Right. I guess that's part of this movie. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's, it's awful. But like you said, we wouldn't have so many of the advancements, so many of the medicines and cures that we have if it weren't for animal testing, because not that it's ethical to torture animals, but it's not ethical to test on humans, even though I know that lots of humans probably would voluntarily do it. 
that's just not how our system is structured, I guess. I have two things to add to that. So I saw this headline. I'll get back to watch the movie. So there's, I need to like vet this out and make sure it's true. But there was something about how they are able to put a, a rat's brain into like a little RC car. And that like the way that it was like the brain controlled the RC car and it was heralded as like, yeah, this was a, like a first step towards trans transhumanism. And I'm like, I don't know about that. I need to find out that's even a hundred percent true. Cause that's something where I felt like it, it, I'm like, is this a Twitter headline? I don't know, man. Um, but hmm. I don't know. I'm like, cause that kind of stuff to me is like treading God territory with, you know, being able to upload consciousness but still, I'm like, I don't know, man. You're putting a brain in an RC car. I don't know if that's really godhood right there. <laughs> we oh. did it. We are Hot Wheels itself. That's so weird. But there was something else where I read this article. It was really sad. It was what is it? This guy, his, his mother passed away, and she gave her money. Or she gave her money. She gave her body to science. And um, the guy found out that the body. Oh, I'm laughing. I shouldn't laugh. The military, mm -hmm. the military got the body, and they used it in a, an explosion experiment where she was like the corpse was strapped to like a chair and they just blew it up. And I was just what? like, or <laughs> I don't know. Someone made a good comment saying like most likely the body stuff was was the scientist who got it initially took the brain because I think she had like some brain tumors and all they cared about was the brain, and then the rest of the body they're like, well we don't need it, and the military is like, can we use this for weapon testing? And it's like, sure. And it's like, oh, that's really fucking dark. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty demented. Yeah, again, I guess like, that's... Sure, I'll donate my body to science after I die. Sure, that means you can just disrespect my corpse however you want. I guess you kind of sign off on that, though. I feel like you have to. Yeah. With, like, sorry, if you're signing it off. Yes, but it's like you signed up to have your body used for science, not for it to get blown apart. Right. <laughs> Read the fine print, I guess. I don't know. It's, um... There was like some really interesting image I saw in a science book where it was some guy who donated his body to science and the front part of his face was cut in half. So you could see like, like imagine a front profile shot, but the front part of your face has been cut off and you see like the eye sockets, the front part, the, the brain, the tongue, uh -huh. the esophagus, the nose. And it's like, yeah, we're just fleshy little creatures at the end of the day i don't know man yeah it's pretty sick yeah i don't know you're pretty it's pretty gross being aware of your fleshiness of our useless meat sacks right atoms to cells to organs to us to a little blue planet floating the galaxy of universe and the universe that potentially could be multi-universe that could potentially you know. be multi-dimensional what's what's up did you know that there's a skeleton inside here? <gasps> Everyone is saying warning, warning, so something's coming. All right, well, ready. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, those kittens? You know, when, I'm, when I don't have much commentary, that means the movie's usually good. I know, I was going to say, we're kind of quiet during this stream, but we're super invested in the story. You all have no idea the movie we could have been watching tonight. There was something that... We we're gonna watch something called Birds Like Us. We dodged a bullet. No, we watched something much better than that. I I do know of the one sex scene, so I think it's coming. I think that I think that's what's coming. Do we literally? Do we do we watch it or no? Yes. Okay. I feel like this is art, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, you don't need to justify it, but we're gonna watch it. Ow, meow, kitty, kitty. The saxophone. It's sad sax. I love, I love the sexy saxophone. I watched a cat documentary one time with a bunch of cats living in Rome. And they, sh they showed this. Oh, well, this must really titillate you then. No. I love Where did it. you come from? Okay, All right. <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, so, uh, who are okay. you? <laughs> Put it on my taxi, uh... You know, to have it drive you home, right? <laughs> yeah. Who are you? That's what you boys do when they hang out, right? They're just like, hey, yo. Sounds like, you know, smells like... <laughs> <laughs> smells like Old Spice in here. 
<laughs> I see. I know why you busted out the old spice. Ah, yeah, I, know, I, the, I see there's four Taco <laughs> Bell wrappers on the floor and, <laughs> and a pool of tears. <laughs> help solve All the right, case. time to you feel break what? out the cigars. The <laughs> <Don't kill me. laughs> a lot of religious symb uh, symbolism here. Yeah. Hmm. Like the cross. You're forgetting evolution. A new breed could, could emerge uh, quite by chance sometimes. I don't believe in it. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Then you're saying um, that while six days, buddy. Six like days. Are actually, the result mm. of natural selection. Sounds logical. I admit. Jobbly goo with the what? He knows more than me. <laughs> it was really don't weird for both jokes. <laughs> 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 what? Out about? He knows more than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's about right though with cats falling. It's a solid, it's a solid <sighs> landing. Worry, it's a, it's like a, what do you found? It's like a brick. He kind of clipped out there a bit. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> yes, it's cats falling. Play it all again. Older. Oh, beard. I just did just show the whole scene again. again. I'm like crazy. a flashback and see the whole scene again. Well with quite a few <laughs> of your ideas. <laughs> the fancy computer. Only one monitor. What a dweeb. <laughs> the code word, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, man. Is he gonna get got? I think so. I'm afraid for Bluebeard right now. Oh. No, Bluebeard's tough though. But then. Oh, my, my dreams are anything but ordinary. I dreamt once that I was two feet taller. Shitty good men, they're all bad. Yo and Bluebeard being bros, high fiving over the ladies. I won't stand for it. <laughs> <laughs> Scar. Not right. I was gonna say this feels very right. Whoa! Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. Everything. Caught him right down the middle. <laughs> Sorry, I heard that. Oh, it, here we go. <laughs> I gotta go fuck this guy. <laughs> well, there was a an atrocious eugenics, you know, cat holocaust, and now I'm gonna go crush some pussy. Goodbye. Um, all right. What'd you think? Um. Did you like it? Jesus, that's such a brutal shot. Yeah, I'm sad that she dies. I like that, that character. I was gonna put on background here, let it run. I really liked it. I liked the message, I liked the characters, I liked the animation. The, the dub here seems a bit rough with the voice acting a bit and some of the deliveries, but it's forgivable. Um, like, like, I think Francis sometimes sounded a little bit too stiff, but it works. Um, I, I thought the voice acting overall was pretty good. Overall. Like, uh, yeah. Really cool. Yeah, I, design. I get what you're saying about him, though. His voice acting is a little. And then the blah blah blah, and I'm the narrator. Do you hear what I'm saying? And I'll kill you. I'll kill you right now. I'll kill you. No. Um, thought... I'll get you, you bastard. I went back to the cat surgery scene. We're skipping past that. Yeah, maybe this is not a good part to let replay. <laughs> um, I thought the character designs were really interesting. I am really imp impressed that they tried hard. Like you can see, there's a lot of effort in this movie. Um. Mm -hmm. I think it looks it's a really good looking movie. Um, Very appealing, especially it's one of those things where it's like you can tell they studied cat anatomy to get the, the movements that. down, down. So it's far easier to get invested in the worlds. The um, story was really good. I thought, like the fact that I mean, when a movie can ever keep me engaged with a question of like you know what's the mystery, that's always a well done film. Um, kind of thought the science guy I was like it's probably the science cats you know the one who died yeah. but <laughs> I'll be real some of that, it's a little bit uh, you have to pay attention because some of this mm -hmm. you, know, you can get lost I think if you're not paying attention that's like the case for most mystery films um, I liked it I, I can see why it, I mean, it, the brutality is definitely the what puts it above the rest as far as like being unique it's a very brutal film mm -hmm. what do you think Oh, I share a lot of the same thoughts as you. Uh, visually, I think it's awesome. I love the mystery. I love how 
It's one of those movies where if you watch it a second time, you realize that, you know, you're being fed clues with every cat that he meets, with every uh, step of the journey, you're being fed little clues about, you know, the true story behind this, these murders. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I like the pacing of the story. I like how you slowly figure out, like, bit by bit, what's the, you know, what's going on. You know, what's the deal with these cats and these experiments? I love the dream sequences. Those are They're really so cool. Um, well, finally watched it for the day. I feel yeah, like... now you have the context beyond just the sex scene. Right. 